Hello everyone, and my name is Deborah, but you can also call me the Spoken Queen. Um, a lot of people wanted me to do this because I put it up on Facebook, and a lot of people told me to, to do a suggestion. And but the number one suggestion that people have, you know, mentioned was, "How do I do spoken word?" Not like. How do you do it? Or like, is there a certain way that you do it? Yes, there is. There is a certain way that I do not do it. I, okay, one, I do not write it down. I, I've only, you know, written poetry down or spoken word down whenever it was an assignment in class. Or, you know, some people wanted me to write something down so they will be, um, you know, giving a letter to someone. And yes, I have wrote some love letters for some people. Sorry. <laughs> for those who get it and realize it's me and not your girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever. But, um, like I was saying, I do not write anything down. Uh, I try so hard to use instrumentals. I try so hard to use the... The drums, the bongo drums, the guitar, the piano, the keyboard. I tried so hard. Even using small instruments, it just doesn't help me. Because, you know, basically when I'm, you know, being quiet. In what, well, being in a quiet space. Put it that way. Being in a quiet space, you get a chance to be... yourself you get a chance to hear what's in here and not trying to focus on trying to stay on beat with the song i just can't do it it's not you know I, I can do it but i'm better off not doing it you know how some rappers well freestyle rappers can you know freestyle with an instrumental beat and some cannot you know who i'm talking about yes you do um but I can't. Uh, other things I cannot do, I cannot, you know, record when someone else is in the house with me. I just cannot. But in order for me to really be myself and let you guys inside here and in here, that's the only two places that it really comes from. And back there, some may come from the past. That's what this means. That's what exactly what this means. Um, I have been doing spoken words since the age of 13. Because I have, you know, I tried to starve myself to lose weight just to look pretty. I tried to, you know, be my sisters. Because everyone's saying, why don't you look like them? Why don't you dress like them? Why aren't you like them? Because I'm not them. We are our own people. We were raised in the same home, but we are different. My other sisters have way more in common than me. Well, because I was considered the oddball, weird sister. Excuse me. Which was fun. Which was fun. But growing up, when I had the chance to go to an actual, you know jazz cafe where they were doing open mic night and they had a uh, spoken word night it was on wednesday january 28th oh my gosh 2012 the day after my birthday the day after my 22nd birthday i went and it was amazing it was in north little rock and i look over and I'm seeing amazing people just, you know, doing what they do to get ready. And me, the one thing I do to get ready would be to, is to basically breathe. I stare in blank space. I can literally look at anything in a room and I can see something that I can talk about that's pertaining to me. Like my very first video, um, I actually did it before I'm doing this video now. Um, it's called Hands. 
you will have to watch it and understand it. I hope that you guys can actually understand it because it would be so amazing if you did. Oh my gosh. But, um, it's amazing how one person can overcome something quick, slow, you know, in due time, you know, time heals all wounds. I don't like to hear that because time is what created my wounds. Hmm, that might be a good one to talk about next, but I'm not because I don't like to do that. I, if I have a random, you know, thing going on in my head, then yeah, I'm going to do it. So, um, I, 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 I hope that I actually get some subscribers because a lot of people are forgetting that without spoken word, you do not have love songs. You don't have, you know, hip hop with nice rhymes. You, I hope they don't use mumble, mumble rap for, you know, in, in this case, I, I, I hope they don't use spoken word or poetry. How some people use it for their mumble rap. I just, I just hope. Not because they don't have bars, they don't have skills, they're ugly as fuck. But anyway, it's 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 oh my gosh, I wish that some people will actually watch these videos and you know, because I'm just getting started with this video, I'm just getting back started with these videos because I don't know what happened to my other uh YouTube account that went out the window uh when. You know, I got a divorce, a happily divorced, yes. So, I really, really, really wish that you guys could feel where I'm coming from. And my, my, okay, here's an extra part about me. My spoken word will be mostly um, of the LGBT community. And I can also tell you short stories I can also give you short stories on you know sex capades and you know adult only type things and I will be doing tutorials on a lot of stuff too so I'm just doing a lot of things with my YouTube page that I lost a long time ago well almost three years ago so that's kind of long for me but I love you guys so much you are beautiful. You are sexy. No matter what. I I just... I love people. And I love you guys. And um, I might be showing people how to do... Actually, an ombre foundation. That's new. That is going to be trending. It is funny. It is amazing. So, alright. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.